Sydney. Inquisitor, it was amazing. <clears throat> Sorry, slow down. Your quartermaster outfitted me, and I got training to hunt the bandits near my home, in your name. I hired Voth here. Don't tell anyone, but he's a, a mage. A good one, though. Thank you for trusting me, your worship. I'll pay you back, I swear. Good work. Keep with the training. We'll need every hand. Yes. Yes, your worship. We'll do just that. Won't we, Voth? He doesn't speak, but he's thankful too. Inquisitor. What can I do for you, Inquisitor? What can you tell me about this Corypheus? Not exactly an expert, but ask away and I'll answer what I can. How did you first encounter him? A few years back, I was dealing with some trouble from a Carter clan that went rogue. They were sending assassins after the Hawk family. We tracked them to a rune in the Vimarks. It turned out to be a trap. Once you went far enough into the rune, there was a magic barrier that kept you from going back. The whole thing was a prison the Grey Wardens were using to hold what they thought was a powerful darkspawn. I've never heard of Wardens locking up darkspawn. Why wouldn't they just kill him and be done with it? I don't think they could. From what we saw in there, Corypheus can control Wardens somehow. They couldn't attack him. The Wardens locked him up because there was nothing else they could do. He looks like some sort of blighted creature, but he speaks. What is he exactly? The Wardens who imprisoned him thought he was just a Darkspawn. But you heard him ranting. He claims he's a Magister. One who assaulted the Golden City, what, more than a thousand years ago? It seems crazy, but if he's telling the truth, he's one of the people who caused the Blights. You and Hawk both said before he was supposed to be dead. He was dead. We killed him. The only way for us to escape the prison Corypheus was trapped in was to go through him. We weren't going to just leave the door to his prison open behind us and hope he was dead. We made sure. All right. I think that's enough about Corypheus. No problem. My friend. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I would be happy to share it with you. Tell me about the old ruins you explored. I found an ancient dwarven tide no longer sheltered by the stone. An earthquake had exposed it all to daylight. A thousand dwarven corpses lay. The victims of the Darkspawn Horde. Their last stand marked by one great ring of armor. In the middle, one small body, clutching tightly small stuff toy. Tell me about a spirit you encountered. The Alamari crossed the Frostback Mountains to escape a beast they called the Shadow Goddess in their story. I met the spirit that they fled. She walked the Fade along the southern tundra, weeping lonely and forgotten. Great Ferelden formed because a lonely spirit drove her prey away. Tell me about the old memories you found in the Fade. I saw a dwarf emerge into the light of day and shield his eyes against the sun. The first time he had seen it, the tears were streaming from his eyes. I sought them from the blazing light until I saw the rock he held so tightly. Then he laid the rock down gently, and he left it as he walked away. We'll talk later. 
Goodbye. Anything interesting? A letter regarding Felix, Alexius' son. He went to the Magisterium, stood on the Senate floor and told them of you. A glowing testimonial, I'm informed. No news on the reaction, but everyone back home is talking. Felix always was as good as his word. Was? He's dead. The Blight caught up with him. Are you all right? He was ill, and thus on borrowed time anyhow. That doesn't mean you can't regret his death. I know. Felix used to sneak me treats from the kitchens when I was working late in his father's study. Don't get into trouble on my behalf, I tell him. I like trouble, he'd say. Tevinter could use more mages like him. Those who put the good of others above themselves. Were the two of you... Felix and I? What an odd question. No, I had no intention of abusing Alexius's hospitality by seducing his son. Not that I've been proper my whole life by any means. It wasn't like that. Even in illness, Felix was the best of us. With him around, you knew things could be better. You make it sound like he was a better person than you. What a mad thing to say. Few people are better than I. Very well, a better person, clearly, not nearly as handsome. Thankfully, Felix wasn't the only decent sort kicking around Thedas. What's on your mind? You said Alexius was a mentor of yours. He was my patron, sponsoring me to the higher levels of the Circle of Magi. In return, my successes were his. I had a lot of successes, naturally. Alexius was most pleased. He and I used to talk over Brandy about the corruption, how we could one day make real change in the Imperium. And then he... gave up. He stopped trying. Why did he give up? On a journey to Hosburg, a Darkspawn raid killed his wife and sickened his son. I remember hearing the news. He hadn't been there, you see. Alexius was convinced he could have protected them. And the guilt tore him up. I helped him with his research for a while and then we drifted apart. That must have been difficult. Back then, I was furious. I told him to snap out of it, move on. I thought I had all the answers. Later, I regretted my hasty words. But we didn't speak again until he approached me for the Venatori. Too much pride, I suppose. Plus, I was busy drinking. One must have priorities. Was it hard being away from him? It was hard not having a patron, yes. I'm not exactly built to fit in. At any rate, he's fallen so low, I doubt he'll ever get up. Sad, really. I should go. You know where I'll be.